Hello, my dear friends, base greetings. My friends, base greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. Maybe you don't know where is Ukraine. It's very far away from America, from Japan, from other countries. So when people are talking about Ukraine, they say this is a Russia. But now people in Ukraine are all talking that Ukraine is not Russia. This is a little bit on the south part of it, western part of uh, Russia, so this is a little bit in the south, this is Ukraine. And today I'm Dr. Viktor Kursov, I'm a research entomologist, beekeeper and teacher, and I'm very pleased to show you some videos about insects from Ukraine. I hope you can watch me on internet, so I, because yes, I've changed some programs, by the way. And I'm not quite sure if you can watch me or you are not watching me because I'm talking, but I'm not quite sure if I'm visible on internet. So, so here's some videos. Yes, yes, so a little bit some advertisement, so you can take off into it. Okay, so I guess this is now online because before I I did video and just occasionally it became frozen. So that's why I am repeat my second this video second time. So first video was about Mantis religiosa eating some food so and this food is just night moth which has i collected on night trap light trap and this light trap also quite useful to collect some strange insects like this one yes this insect actually was quite recently found in ukraine Came again frozen. So I need to close one while my video and open it again. So this insect was collected on light trap on my balcony, and actually, this is introduced species of this cicada. The body is covered with white wax and just where just Hello, my friend. Sorry about the break. So there's some technical problems. I need to. That's why I'm trying to check it with uh, less people online. But nonetheless, problems may appear quite often. Sorry about that. For instance, here, this is another insect. So I need to show them one by one, as I understood. One by one, in this case, I will not be calling very nice Cacocala, Cacocala genus, so with this red hind wings, with black grips, just on the hind wings, and just a little bit 
moving by four wings and also this female came just on my ultraviolet light trap just on my balcony okay in the summertime because today was just about plus 10 Celsius degree and pretty cold and night time about plus four just so quite cold so that's why it's already not time for collecting and for observation of insects but this i i collected and recorded this my video in a summer time and for instance this one this is a head of a wasp crabronida a genus Philanthropy, which is just wild bees, honeybees, and bring the whole body of a honeybee to the nest, but nest just underground. And this wasp is not social, this is just solitary wasp. Solitary wasp, which is which means do not make social nest like vespida wasps, like hornets and yellow jackets. So, but this wasp is living one by one. One by one. For instance, I show again. For example, I okay. Here, this was all together. One is a Polystene wasp, yellow jacket on the left side. So this is Palistes, I guess female, and then the right female is the wasp, uh, wolf wasp. Or philanthus philanthus on the right side so you see the shape of body the color of body the, the size of body is different so these are two different families left side the spine and the right right side this is a crabronide or sphicide so the wolf wasp on the right side so and left wasp is a social and right side side wasp Philanthus is just solitary wasp because it's just living in one hole, in the, so making a nest one by one, bringing just one honeybee body, laying eggs, and just larvae will be growing on the body, and then catching the next honeybees and bringing to the same nest, just the hollow under the underground. So let's take, let's bring another video. Yes, I catch another video from my folders. And this will be just a very tiny insect, which is size just only one millimeter, one millimeter size. So this is a parasitoid of a family, Pteromalide, Pteromalide, and parasitoid of different pests especially stored food pests. I guess this is a parasitoid of larvae, of lepida, of moss, or just parasitoid of anobiidae beetles. So because we have a culture of anobiidae beetles, Stachobium panicem at laboratory, so some pteromalidae just emerging from the culture of beetles. And now just, I'm just trying to to look for this insect under my microscope, but she, female is moving, it's very difficult to make a focus because I need to keep a camera in one hand, camera in one hand and uh, change the microscope focus by another hand. So this is quite difficult. Sorry, this is a sound from my telephone. Okay, take. I will take another video from my folder. Well, so these are funny insects, which are just rice weevils, rice Cetophilus zemais. So they are emerging from the seeds of wheat, and maybe also eating different bread food, like a dry food, dry bread. So if they're energy all together, so it can be collected in a petri dish, 
so we're making kind of a crowd when we're making uh, together sometimes and but mostly we're making a crowd to escape and so for that reason we can make it like kind of a plain circus and some individuals can easily escape from the petri dish because it's quite difficult to crawl on the surface a petri dish but when i'm making crowd quite easily to escape because they can fall down out of the petri dish all together so and sometimes this crowd may be just 100 or 200 specimens all together in a petri dish okay so by dangerous paths or with different seeds of wheat and another food stock. Well, okay. And here, this is a honeybee. Honeybee coming. Yeah, this is a honeybee. And on the boy which is sitting on my, on my hand, on the right side of the screen, you can watch on this uh, like a plate brown color and this is a mite this is a varomite which is just the reason of a varro disease dangerous acarus acarids mite which is just weakening honeybees adults and larvae and just uh, the reason of spreading different viruses diseases of honeybees which has just destroyed colonies and honeybees can be dying just hundreds and thousands altogether so this is a living individual which is just traveling on the body of honeybee just attached you see to the wing or to the hairs of on thorax or on abdomen or sometimes squeezing between sternites on the down part of the abdomen and traveling together with a bee from one place to another place and sometimes to another colony of honeybees. So from one beehive to another beehive or from the swarm directly to your apiary, you will receive not only swarm, but also some or maybe many varomites on the body of honeybees. So and it will be a reason of a varro infestation. And now we can watch on lacewing, very tiny insect. Lacewing, which is very tiny, fragile, but very nice and brightly colored. Yes, brightly colored because you see this is a green color of lacewing. So nice and so beautiful. Too big, shiny green eyes complex green white eyes on the top of two moving antenna with a swollen big green colored first segment of antenna on the right side you see tiny like a small pieces and these are palpi maxillary palpi mandibulari so this is a mouth parts and this is a thorax, thorax inside visible some digestion system and breathing system, digestion system, just working pipe pulping. And this is like a tree and these are veins. These are veins of wings, you see, lace wings. Wings are very tiny, fragile, hairy, and they're just on the top of body, on the top of abdomen. When uh, Lace wind does, doesn't move, but when female is flying, these winds, two pair of winds, line very well. And now just we can see inside green body, and this is on the top. These are hairs on the surface of the winds. And here this is the thorax, and the middle part you can see pulping moving. This is a pulping digestion system of a lace wing this very nice chrysopa latin name chrysopa and family name chrysopide chrysopide and which is like to room 
cleaning the body very much, but it stopped just on this moment. Well, just I search for next video. Next video will be from my folder one by one, because if I'm trying to show you immediately, well, I like this crowd again. I show you again the crowd of the rain beetles. Yeah, I told you about these rain beetles, so and you can recognize how many of them. How many of them were all together crowding around. Very special one. Uh, surprisingly, just I became frozen. Hello, hello, my friends. I am back because on the video of the rain beetles, Cetophilus with tiny wheels, our video became frozen. So I need to switch on and switch off again. So, so I choose a new video. I'm choosing new video. And this will be who this will be. Okay, and for this video I will show you my favorite insect, so you can recognize who is that, and this is my favorite insect, so this is a tiny insect which is named Trichorama, Trichorama, this is a tiny parasitic wasp which size is just 0.5 millimeter, very tiny. And we can see here some females just sitting on the cotton in a jar where wing, wings are still not formed very well because they just hatched from eggs of Cetotroga, from eggs of a butterflies, very tiny moths actually, Cetotroga, Cereal Aurelia. And so they are reared in built by laboratories. And I need to identify the species. So I'm making microscopic slides to study them under the microscope. But for beginning, I need to receive males. Here you can see only mostly females. But for identification, I need to make microscopic slides of a body and the male genitalia of a, this species. And this is a Trichorama evanescence the most common species, which is used now for biological control of corn pests, corn, corn moth. Just remove the video. So, and this is a very famous insect. Instead of another one, which is Trichorama pinte, which is different species, but well adapted to our bio laboratory. And this species is more effective rather than Trichorama pintoe. So that's why we need to identify the species name correctly to know which species of Trichorama is reared in the laboratory to make precisely application of correct species Trichorama or Evanescence instead of less effective Trichorama pintoe. And here this is a maybe final insect, and this is very tiny, Psychodide fly, Psychodide fly, very tiny, which is looking like butterfly, like tiny moth, like tiny night moth, but this is about three millimeter or five millimeter size 
fly was favorite Sihodide, Sihodide, where the wings are covered with, not with stick, not with, with hairs, but not only with hair, but also with flattened scales, flattened scales, and they're living sometimes in, in near bathroom, in, a, in different pipe, pipe system, because larvae is eating some bacteria inside pipe system, but surface so of the uh, wings are covered with the scales, which is quite useful adaptation for this tiny fly, because this fly is not attached to the surface of water. Sometimes just jumping on the surface of water, jumping and easily coming out. Otherwise, if wings were without hair to without scales, the, this fly can be easily attached to the water. So this is very special adaptation. Tiny hairs and tiny scales, like on butterfly, like on tiny moth, which is adaptation feature, which allows for this tiny fly squeeze between in a very, very tiny places between water or pipe system and lay eggs on some places where larvae is developing on small drops of water somewhere uh, in near your bathroom, in a toilet, or maybe in some open places with open water, sometimes near the flowers. On plates near the flowers, if too much water you are using for your flowers, this tiny flies, not to, this tiny flies can be bright just somewhere near your window with your flowers. But in in general, they're not dangerous because larvae of these flies eating just rotating uh, plants, or rotating leaves, and they're not damaging living plants, living stems uh, or leaves. So they're not dangerous. So they're eating only detritus only some small pieces of soil or some bacteria in the piping system. So you can say by cleaning cleaning pipes and cleaning plates with flowers. So don't worry about them if you can find them just in your house, in your apartment. So they're not dangerous, they're not spreading any diseases or microorganisms. So for the, I guess, Okay, I close this. Remote from the studio. Thank you for watching this. My some of my videos. I hope it was quite surprising for you to look under the microscope all together with me. If you have problems with insects or if you have questions about insects, don't forget write your comments under this video, or you can find under this video my private email. To my private, you can send your private message on my email, or we can meet all together on Facebook or maybe in other social media. Or if you also you can write on my email, which is written down there, this is name you fancy at Gmail. You can write your comments, questions under this video in comments, but you need also to be on Gmail. Also, you can visit my page on Patreon just to drop a few dollars and you are becoming sponsor of my channel and your name will be on subtitles online and uh, after my videos which I am doing which I am making about insects about different subjects so your video will be together with another sponsors and if you are interested to know which projects about insects I am studying I am doing different projects you can see it also on page of Patreon, which is a respectable page, trustworthy page, where you can send few dollars as donation. And this is few dollars will be quite interesting for me because this is a small drop for the general idea of development of my channel. And small drop, drop by drop, this will be just a good motivation. Motivation. To take new videos, to, to to catch new insects or new objects for the study, to, to make a renovation of my 
video camera and maybe to travel to some places precisely to catch some interesting subjects, interesting moments of behavior of insects or in other invertebrates. And of course, after that, spend time making addition editorial work with all frames of subtitles with some information and preparation of new videos for you, my viewers. So thank you for watching. Looking forward to see you as subscriber. Press on the bottom subscribe. And looking forward to see you as a Patreon or sponsor of my page. It's a great pleasure that I have already 10 sponsors. And we have a small donation from $1 till the $10 and a little bit more. And drop by drop, this is uh, just not ice cream, but this is quite useful for reno, especially for renovation of cameras, which are, which are developing very quickly and needs renovation because everything is developing very quickly. And the quality will be better on better on you and better equipment. So I promise you to make new videos of better quality and making careful editorial work with my videos. And if you have questions, don't hesitate, drop your question under this video in comments or on my email, on my private email. And don't forget, try to be to serve on video under this video, find my Patreon link, then visit my Patreon page and becoming sponsor of my video channel. Thank you very much. See you soon on my channel. Bye bye. Good luck. See you soon. As a subscriber and also as a sponsor. Bye bye. See you soon. Good luck. Thank you for coming.